yeah in this video i'm going to show you how to install the fujitsu fp 2000c uh, thermal printer driver right so um to do that uh, you have to go to the software installation uh page for the thermal printers uh, share the link in the description and you can click and go to the page so let me quickly go to the page and show you how to go through the entire process right so this is the page uh, on this page um, you see some instructions here from a manufacturer about how to go about uh, installing the software yeah so um just scroll down once you're on this page you don't have much to do just come down here and then you click on this option right this is the package you need to install so you click on that to install the SFI and you give it a few seconds to download and when it's done downloading um, there is something you need to do you can run it directly from here you just click to open and then it will start installing but there is also something else I want to show you because there are other instructions that this download came along with. So let's go to the file explorer um, to take a look at them and um, download. Right. Yeah, so this is the package, right? So you can either right click here, double click to open it, or right click and then select open to start the installation uh, your uh, your antivirus may be trying to stop you from doing the installation but you just click on more info if you get that and then you say run anyway and then you go about that so if you're having a firewall problem you do that and once you click that you see that the software is already installing so um, you just have to give it time to finish downloading uh, uh, installing just give it time it will run 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 and then the installation is complete you understand yeah and as you would see the soft the installation also came along with this um, file this folder so you open it after installing the package you open you open this file and then you come down to select this uh, run right so when you double click and set the run it will now install the software right so you say yes and you give it time just leave it on europe there are other options there but europe is the one we're going to use so you can select other language areas and then you hit okay and now it's time to install so you click on install you accept the terms of this license agreement you accept that and you still click on next um, say connect the PC and printer then turn the printer's power on so you need to con uh, connect the printer to a power source and um, connect it via USB to the, the system you are using to do the installation so that's what I'm about to do now from here I've turned on the thermal printer and I'm now connecting it via USB to the system so you just click OK and then it will run the installation for you just give it a few seconds it doesn't take much time and that's it right so to finish the installation via USB you just click here USB and then you can either choose um, Windows um, driver or Opus but Opus is for developers so this is the one you will need the one you will need is the one for Windows you select that since you will be installing on Windows and um, if you are using LAN connectivity you, you also select that right and then you run the installation so you click USB again because we connected via USB to do the first installation so you click install 
and in no time the software will be installed mm -hmm. so after the installation you can use any application any applic this uh, thermal printer works with any application you understand any POS or point of service app uh, application so you can see the installation is complete now you can click on finish so the system has been modified restart the computer you understand so once you reach this stage just know that you have finished the installation completely and then from there um, you can start using the printer with the application with the application you have available in your own environment I'm not ready to turn off my system now so i will let it go but if you have questions you can drop them in the comments and we'll gladly provide answers or you can reach us via dm in the whatsapp numbers provided in the description of this video and we'll guide you on how to navigate those problems thank you for watching